Hey guys, welcome back to my um, Windows Mixed Reality update. Um, so today I'm gonna show you um, a first time setup uh, using the Samsung Odyssey Mixed Reality headset. So here, uh, as you can see here, I have uh, uh, the headset in my hand right here. And on um, my left here, there is actually a laptop that I just uh, set up in the middle of the living room. Um, so yes, one of the great advantage is that you can actually uh, run this off a pretty normal laptop. Uh, here I have a Dell Inspire uh, 15 here. So let me just set up the boundary here. On setup. So I'll just go step by step. So first I have to center it. Okay, and then I click on the trace button. I'm, trying, I'm gonna try to cover as much area as I can. Click on accept. So it's all set. Therefore, I think I can go in now. Aha! Uh -huh. As you can see, before I even put it on, um, it can already detect. There's my controller right there, and uh, I can move it around. As I move around the headset, it, uh, the motion inside the goggles follows very nicely, as you can see here. So let me just put it on, and uh, let's begin. So my experience of so putting this on is that I do wish it had a flip-up visor. Um, because what happens is that I do find it a little bit more difficult uh, as I wear glasses and uh, if it didn't have the flip out visor I have to be really careful when I'm putting it on um, so uh, here I'll just uh, stand to the right side here um, so as you can see here, I'm actually uh, walking around in this uh, boundary that I created. So I can kind of tell where the laptop is, it's over there, uh, just by the shape of the boundary. And here I'm holding the two motion controllers. Um, I can walk around this space uh, pretty easily. Uh, here I have some icons already set up in here. Uh, I hope you guys can see it from my laptop screen there. Uh, so one other thing I really would like to comment is that uh, the sound is very good. Uh, having used HoloLens, I know that spatial sound is crucial uh, for you to have an immersive experience because it's a, almost like a magical piece that sometimes people don't think about, but it really makes a huge difference. Like here, when I'm teleporting around uh, on this cliff house, as I get closer to the ocean, I'll hear more of the ocean wave and uh, to convince me that I'm actually standing right above an ocean. Like I can hear the seagulls and, uh, and such. Um, on the other hand, uh, if I teleport to the tree line, I'll hear just a bird chirping, um, but I would hear less of the ocean. And when I go inside, I barely hear anything at all. Yeah, it's very quiet inside. Like, for example, if I go to the basement, 
there's like no other ambient sound that I can really hear. So uh, they did a really good job, I would say, with the headset here. And I really like the feature of being able to move um, things such as this coffee table. You can resize it with your two hands. You can crisscross your hands to rotate it. And uh, yeah, you can place it anywhere in your room. Um, I, let's try something fun. Okay. I don't know if I can actually put it on top of the thing. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's hanging off the ceiling, my coffee table. Okay. Um, it's very easy to move around, uh, guys, by the way. Uh, I can tilt my thumbstick uh, or joystick uh, left and right to rotate. And uh, as soon as I push forward, it will just move forward. Um, I have this. Okay, another movable object. So I really like how they placed some of this interactable object. Of course, you can grab more of them from the holograms. Um, so uh, that's that's that. Um, so I hope you guys get a very good first impression. Uh, I tried the Vive and uh, the Oculus Rift before. Um, to me, the screen door effect is always a little bit uh, pronounced because I have been so spoiled by Microsoft HoloLens where I see almost no screen door effect. Uh, I mean, I don't even know if it exists in there. Uh, but uh, in Samsung Odyssey headset, there is some screen door effect, um, but I would say it feels slightly better um, than the Vive or the Rift, uh, in my personal opinion, uh, but maybe, maybe I'm biased. And uh, yeah, I think the IPD adjustment is a really big help for me to feel more comfortable uh, in this headset. So uh, I'm gonna launch an app Let's just see. I just need to click the Windows button to bring up the menu. And I'm gonna try to see if I have some other apps. Oh, look at that. Hello, Mars. This is a little bit scary. I mean, it's like we're orbiting, we're orbiting the Mars. Wow, look at that. This is actually very impressive. This is like huge. So um, I, one thing I would like to also uh, point out is that after you scan the boundary once, as long as uh, the scene doesn't change too much, um, the headset actually picks it up quite well. So as you can see here, I didn't actually run the setup again after I shut down Mixed Reality Portal once, and uh, it already knows the boundary. Um, now I will just launch right here. And as you can see, it's still got the boundary, which are represented by the white one. Close. Oh, it worked. So um, the mic is actually working. Uh, there are actually two mics, I believe, right underneath. Um, so how do I look? <laughs> So one other thing I noticed uh, that's very nice about this cliff house is that everything stayed the way I left it. Like I left this app here, and when I come back, it's still like that, you know? Like it didn't move. Um, 
Does the controller work well? I mean, they do lose track, but look, if I'm doing this, it's still falling quite well. Like, I don't really realize uh, losing track at all. In, at least, that's what I see inside this cliff house. Um, the tracking of the controller is quite good. Like, I can do this, like swimming. And uh, it comes back quite quickly. So, very impressed with that.